8 o'clock Tuesday morning. We're gonna go on a bit of a road trip today, but first and foremost, I'm gonna try a salute soon. Let's go see after. Okay, 10 pesos each. It's a little pancake with buko. Originally from Gasan, Originally from Gasan. Uh, maybe five days, bro. Thank you, bro. All right, there it is. Salutsud, a very, very hot pancake, literally steaming hot. I'm scared to bite into it now. I like the banana leaf plate. It's gonna be in it, bro. <laughs> Alright, first bite. Mm. I like you have like a mixture of a little bit of graininess, but then it's creamy and the buco chunks really really work well. That's really nice. I feel too like you could dip that in a sauce salmon or something. Maybe some latte. Mm. to go see tea though. If you remember, when me and Kumar came here in December 2019, we stayed at Tida. So who's Tida? The sister of my Tida and the family I stayed with in Kagendio. So let's hope I remember. I think we go left too. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna go meet Tida. She doesn't even know. Taupo! Taiopo! Hello! Oh, there she is! Yes, okay! Timing. Hey, nice to see you. Okay, nice to see you, Tida. Hi, Tida. This is Hi, Tida. <laughs> oh, Tita's walking us out. I love it. You know what the best part is? Tita and her son, Jeremias. Jeremias, do I? No, Jeremy's. Jeremy. I always, pro uh, always pronounce the names wrong. Uh, they always speak to me in Tagalog. <laughs> I realized, like, Diane, Diane Maxalita Tagalog, Tina. She only speaks to me in Tagalog, which is good, so I'm learning. Therene, you can speak to me in English, though. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. See you later. See you later. We're gonna come back and have lunch there tomorrow. Uh, the plan now? Road trip. Let's go. Sun's out. This is actually where the Moriones started uh, in this municipality and then it spread out throughout the island. We're actually going to pass through, head to Santa Cruz, and try and continue on to a place called Torrijos because Therene heard about some weaving. Later this afternoon, the plan is to be in Santa Cruz around 3 pm to experience another parade. Mogpog, who's this name?
We have made it to the southeastern side of the island. This is Torrios. There's a beautiful white sandy beach, and just nearby it, you can find Cuya Julius at Kamayan Sahardin. Uh, they have an organic salad here, so no pesticides from a local farm. We're going to order that and Guia Bano shake, Maron? Yeah, Guia Bano shake. Yeah. Guia, oh yeah, Guia, Guia, Guia Bano. <laughs> Sorry, I am the worst at pronouncing things. Anyways, there's a beautiful little cafe that you can kind of hang out and eat. Uh, I'm gonna show the back to see in a bit. Julius is super friendly. Check out the vibe here. Serene's in work mode. And we'll wait for our food and then we'll go for a quick little walk on the beach as we research for Juliet something. We're looking for a little handicraft. Julie Ann's handicraft. I just noticed the chicken menu. Pang heartbroken. Pang magshota. Pang magbarkada. Pang hakut barangay. Love, I don't mean hakut. I don't mean hakut. Hakut. Oh. Ah, so it's like, what's hakut barangay? Ah, hakut barangay means that there are plenty of people from the certain barangay go to a place. Ah, so it might be like a bigger dish. I get it. I get it. I just realized, okay, Pung heartbroken, I mean you're by yourself, you're heartbroken. Pung Mug Shota is if you're with your girlfriend or boyfriend, so it's a bit bigger. Mug Barkada, for a big group of friends, and then for the whole barangay, it's the sizes. Makes sense. That's gonna be my next dish, Sasanud. Awesome. Oh, what's with the two little shot things? Oh, that's a yeah. local honey. Oh, no way! And a milk, if you want. A local honey experience. coming with the Gibano. <laughs> that's so cool, local honey comes with your shake. Yeah, we, we use a local honey instead of sugar. Oh, that's amazing! Okay, no sugar, only local honey. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So cool. Looks good. This combo of local honey and Guillabano shake is amazing. I will come back here every time I'm in Torrios, get a fruit shake. So delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the lemon in. We're gonna live on the edge today. Well, you can tell that this is definitely a touristy side of Torrios. Beautiful white beach, really nice for swimming. I love other places you can eat and uh, get a drink. That one was awesome. Highly suggested. I would go back right away. I think that's some sort of mountain here in Marinduque that goes up and along the coast. But uh, we're going to head back from where we came towards Santa Cruz and uh, see if we can also spot some weaving along the way. Nice one. Uh, last one! <laughs> it's a video! <laughs> a lot of people travel from Manila and around. Thank you guys, have a great day. I'm excited. What are you looking for, love? Julianne's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne something. So we spotted this house on the side of the road, and on Google Maps it said Julianne's. And I can hear weaving. So I think Therene's gonna rock a Taiopo and let's see if we can check it out. <laughs> oh wow. Amazing. <laughs> nice one. Ano pang alam mo po? Ano pang? Sir, Christy. Christy? Ikaw po. Marilyn po. Marilyn, nice to meet you. Christy and Marilyn, they're rocking it. 
and I am gonna go take a look because I think Mon Mon Tanom, no, the plant, the bus, the bully plant. Oh, it's in the distance, so I'm gonna go and try and hunt down the bully. Oh, Thrin's already out there. That is Kuya Boy there, the owner, who is the Asawa of Julianne. And Threen's been chatting to him about what they do here. In the meantime, just on the other side of the yard, the Bully plant. There's a whole bunch of them here. Whole bunch of them over on the other side there. And what's interesting is they process it. I had no clue that that plant exists. And I have no clue that people use it to weave. But Kuya Boy here, he well has two styles. This is actually the leaf, you know? And then from the leaf, this is the stem, the stem of the plant. Mm. Stem, yeah. And then this here is bleach, you no? Know? So this part here is bleaching some of it down, and then he takes it over. Woo! Sorry, mommy, I so woo! Smoke and dyes it here. Uh. Ah, there is Saki Beta. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry. And then the finished product here. What's this? Is that what they sell? Yeah, Buntan. So they. Oh, so they're just selling the fabric. Never heard of Bully until now. Another unique weaving in the Philippines, the unique plant. Pretty cool, no? Oh, they have products? San. Ah, Galing. Let's see, old version. Nice though. Well, for a little house on the side of the road with no signage at all, pretty amazing though. A lot of weavers, a lot of machines. Very cool seeing the owner just personally doing the, the fabric there, the raw material himself. Uh, speaking of that, they only sell the raw material now. They used to make finished products, but it wasn't uh, financially sustainable for them. But I could imagine if there was a lot of tourism here, they could just have their own shop, they could make products, sell them on the road, whatever. Because again, no signage there, that's not even like a tourist spot or anything. That's just manufacturing, but in a very local and creative, unique way. So, yeah, we're gonna head to Santa Cruz, 3 p.m. parade. Thank you, Micah. Enjoy. <laughs> See you later. Okay, that was Micah. And this is some sort of building next to the municipal hall. We are in Santa Cruz and it's and the costumes are super cool. People are just walking around in all sorts of different costumes depicting civilizations from books of the Bible. Uh, we're actually gonna go walk down the road right now and get a coffee because in 30 minutes they're gonna be parading around about five hundred to eight hundred people are gonna be doing this and it sounds like there's even a little competition in the plaza so oh let's look at this it's police farmers association it's cool local products local street it's gonna be local good vibes hello Thank you. 
This place was open April 3rd last year. That's Kevin over there, that's Amy, and they're awesome. They live upstairs, they run this coffee shop. It's really good, nice little place to chill. In 10 minutes, we're going back outside. Americano and ice, and Threen's magic chocolate drink. Everybody is taken to the street. Here we go, the first grand parade. Oh, hello. <laughs> Somebody else could ask. This is gonna be awesome. Cool little setup, really amazing all the costumes. Everybody's getting involved. Civilizations. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> oh, he winked! He winked! Alright, here's the plan. Go check out the church. So it was established in 1609, the Holy Cross Parish here. Uh, it's really right in the heart of the town of Santa Cruz. Beautiful artwork on the wall. Uh, we're gonna head back towards Boac now. What a wonderful experience. Very unique what they did here. Uh, and again, Holy Week all around Marinduque. Every town is doing some unique and very connecting things or relating to Lenten season. <sighs> See you in a bit.